traffic completely under control, just keeps glancing back over his shoulder. 18 seconds is the time gap, and uh, Pacer Sagan is gone at the moment in this race as he heads around towards the finish. This group are really trying to work together. Artavisio swings off the front. The incredible job that uh, Estegio have done for him today to try and deliver it into the right position. This uh, race ultimately always comes down to uh, very, very small group sprints. Uh, 17 laps of this 12.1 kilometer circuit, 3,893 meters of climbing that we've had over the course of those 17 laps. Peter Sagan using the uh, Cote de la Bola technique perfectly, that uh, 780 meter climb going up to 6% into this group though. Van Avermaet, Visho just having a chat on the back of the group just to try and decide uh, what to do, but ultimately they left it a little bit late to bring back the flying Cannondale rider out in front. Peter Sagan just swings around there, affords himself another look over his shoulder as uh, previous laps. Remember, we go up here through the one kilometer to go under the Flam Rouge, down to the hot dog turn at the bottom, and then 500 meters back up towards the finish line. Just that slight rise. Van Avermaet on the front. Artavisho right on the wheel for Efteju. Jan Bacalan still in there for Radio Shack Leopard. Filippo Pozzato for Lampre Merida also there. Roy Costa, former winner, right on the back of the group. 14 seconds. They pulled back four, but it's uh, not going to be enough. Ryder hides it out, goes on the attack. And uh, right in the wheel, Simone Ponzai. Well, Sagan now. Downhill to this U-turn and then up to the finish. That's 600 metres from where he turns. And uh, really, I think he knows he's got this one in the bag. What's he going to do as he crosses the finish line? Peter Sagan now. 10 seconds is the time gap as he rounds the final corner. It's slightly up here. You can just see Ryder Heiserdahl just chasing down. And uh, Sagan now out of the bottom corner. Just looks across at the chasers out of the saddle. Hides it down. Knows he sees previous years how the sprints panned out. And Visho leads around the rest of the group. Enrico Gasparotto on the wheel. There's the rest of the peloton on the group behind number 78 with Simone Ponzi. But Peter Sagan now looks back over the shoulder one more time. He knows he's got this one it out of the saddle. You can see that the road just rising, the wind as well. And uh, Heiserdahl fighting in the chase. Sagan, has he got it under control? Ponzi, can he come over the top of the Canadian? But Peter Sagan, they were all watching him. And ultimately, he still manages to deliver the victory. Peter Sagan, he points to the legs. That's what does the work. Sagan,